White was the poet. I think it was yesterday. Doesn't move. Doesn't speak. Just stares. Mad? Ugh. No. Not like some. What are you saying? Do you think me mad? What I think doesn't matter, love. You'll hang all the same. Why will you say I'm mad? Well, certainly I have a disease. A condition of the senses that sharpen them. Above all, the sense of hearing. I see. No, truly. It's become acute. I hear all things in heaven and earth. I hear many things in hell. Madness? No. It's my condition. My curse. Let me tell you how calmly I can tell my story. Like a person. A person not mad. Very well. It's impossible to say how the idea first came to me, but once it did, it haunted me. You hated him. No, no. I loved the old man. He had never wronged me. Then why did you kill him? Money? No. I never took money. It wasn't for his money. Then what? His eye. His eyes? But what did they No, have? no. Only one of his eyes. Only one. It was... It was larger than the other and pale blue with a film over it. An evil eye. It saw me. It knew me. It wanted to destroy me. Whenever it fell upon me, my blood ran cold. I made up my mind to kill it, to take its life, and end the evil. Kill the eye? Yes, but to do that, I had to kill the old man. There was no other way. I didn't hate the old man. I loved him. Loved him. But... You truly are mad. A lunatic. No, no. A uh, lunatic knows nothing, but I, I, I know everything. I was careful. I planned it out carefully. Can a lunatic do that? I don't see why not. I had been engaged to nurse the old man through his illness. Oh, you must know that I was never kinder to him than during the week I killed him. I would see to his needs during the day, and then go to my own home in the evening. But that week, every night that week, at midnight, I would return. I would creep into his house and quietly steal up the, to the door of his room. I would open the door, oh so gently, and put in a dark lantern closed up so that no light shone out. Then I would put in my head slowly so as to not disturb the old man's sleep. I could see him in the moonlight through the window, see him upon his bed. I would undo the lantern so that a single thin ray fell upon that eye, that vulture eye. But every night, it was closed, so it was impossible to do my work.